This is $100. Well, actually it's 66,000 colones. Yes, so today we're gonna show you what $100 can get you in a Costa Rican beach town. Yeah, obviously you can spend $100 in one sitting at a restaurant if you bought a lot of drinks or Easy. something. Yes, <laughs> somewhere fancy. We wanna show you how you can stretch $100 in a beach town in Costa Rica by eating locally and also shopping locally, uh, maybe a couple souvenirs, a couple drinks. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go head for breakfast to sheriffs here on the beach, which is a traditional soda. We might not even spend $100 actually. We're gonna see how yeah. Far we can stretch it but yeah. I almost feel like we won't be able to no but we'll see we'll, we'll see. Uh, we're it's gonna, gonna be a mystery we're gonna keep tabs below you so you'll see how much we've spent throughout the day So before we head for breakfast, I just want to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Olafly. Uh, you've seen in a few of our videos, we've been talking about Olafly, and just how amazing this product is, the service, to be able to have data no matter where you travel and have it so easy to set up. Uh, again, you just go onto the website, you pick your destination, add it to the cart, purchase it. You're going to get an email with a QR code. Scan that QR code, but don't do it too early. You want to do it like the day before you go traveling, otherwise it starts your data uh, package right then. So yeah, scan that, it's easy to set up, it prompts you through the whole thing to get it set up. Again, you can name it to travel or whatever you want. It could be different countries like Thailand or whatever you want to call it, uh, Costa Rica. And uh, yeah, that's it, super easy to set up. You can pick what, uh, what data or what apps are going to use that package if you want to still use your uh, normal package as well. I don't know why you would when most companies are going to charge like, anywhere from 12 to $20 a day to have roaming uh, data, so it's not worth it. Olafly is so much less expensive and so easy to set up. I don't know why anybody would just continue to use their normal plan from the carrier back home. Uh, yeah, over 100 destinations. Some of those destinations actually have unlimited data up to 90 days. So if you're going somewhere that has a three or 90 day visa, you can have unlimited data for that entire time. So you can use all your apps, uh, Uber, uh, Instagram, Facebook, you can do your emails. Some of you are working online, so it's nice to be able to stay in contact on your emails no matter where you are. Even if you're at a beach like this, you can still uh, still keep in contact with your uh, business partner or your employees, whatever it happens to be, while you're enjoying the beach. So yeah, uh, Olafly is the best travel hack that we've come across yet, so if you guys are looking to travel, definitely go to the link below or use the discount code, the Dufresne's. So just want to thank Olafly for supporting our channel, also hooking you guys up with a 5% discount on your data plan. So yeah, we're going to get back to ordering some breakfast. So yeah, we definitely need to get a coffee. One thing to <laughs> note too is that uh, a lot of the places in Costa Rica, uh, they don't have free refills on coffee. So uh, keep that in mind when ordering coffee, you will have to pay uh, for each enough. cup. But it, yeah, it's cheap enough as well. But don't be surprised when you get the bill and there's like, you've had three coffees and <laughs> there's three coffees on there. So, um, but yeah, this uh, place is uh, very traditional. They've got gallo pinto with eggs. Uh, ham, bacon, all sorts of different things you can order. Um, they have a stewed chicken, which I usually get. I'm gonna get that, I'll show you what it's like. Um, but yeah, the prices range from 2,500 colones to, what is it, 3,500, 4,000 colones uh, with the fish filet. So really reasonably priced. So yeah, we're gonna order what we're gonna have. And then uh, once we're done, we'll uh, put down below what our bill costs. Ah, perfecto. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Wanna order now? Sí. Uh, Cayo pinto con huevo y tocineta. Right, uh, Frito medio, por favor. Y uh, orden de aguacate. Uh, scrambled. I think it's re revel revelto? revelto. Revelto? You yeah. taught me that. Yeah. Revelto? <laughs> revelto. <laughs> See? Gracias. I remember like three years ago yeah. he told me that. So we've eaten at a lot of traditional Costa Rican sodas for breakfast and Sheriff's on the Beach is our absolute favorite. Uh, the food's excellent and it's just an added bonus that it's on the beach of course. So we decided to get some fresh juice with breakfast. So I got uh, Hugo de Naranja, which is fresh orange juice. And then Shana got Hugo de Sandia, which is watermelon. It's so fresh, it's got the seeds in it, you can see here. And they just blend it up and with some water and there you go, fresh juice. It doesn't get any better than in Costa Rica when it comes to juice.
So Shayna got the gallo pinto with eggs and bacon and then a side of avocado and I got the uh, stewed chicken with gallo pinto and then a side of eggs. And uh, the stewed chicken here is amazing. It's just so tender and good, good flavor. So if you're into having uh, something heavier like that for breakfast or later later breakfast, I definitely recommend that. Um, some people find it weird to have like chicken and stuff for breakfast, but it's super filling. So you can see like how tender the chicken is. It's just stringy. It's been stewed for a while. I don't know if they stew it overnight or they get up super early, but either way, it's got a really good flavor. And it's good with the uh, gallo pinto. You found us. <laughs> so this is our friend Nelson. You'll see him if you're at in town anywhere. He'll be walking around selling his bowls. Uh, Quanto asked for the bowl. Well, no, normal is fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a nice for the, big bowl. For the big one. Yeah. I have different twenty five dollar, yeah. forty dollar, maybe in the size. Okay. Depends on the size. Yeah, it depends on the size um, as far as the price goes. So beautiful. Yeah, these ones, these ones are the more expensive ones, but they're big. So uh, yeah, again that. <laughs> That's a souvenir that you could uh, spend a lot of money on, but it's going to be something that you are going to have forever. And it's all local. Wood. And it's all local wood, so uh, you could go through $100 in a day, find stuff like that, but it's worth it. So he's also got some cigars that uh, Brian's here. He's looking to get some Cohibas. Nice big box of Cohibas. <laughs> Again, uh, buying one of those, you could blow your budget as well. But it's cool that uh, Nelson walks around. And we're actually working on a series that we're going to come out with. Um, stay tuned for that. Uh, talking about people like Nelson and the crafts that they have and stuff like that. Oh, yeah? All right, so that was 17,600 colones. So uh, you see below here what it translates to in US dollars and Canadian. But yeah, um, <laughs> definitely full now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't think we're going to need lunch. No, no, we'll just go for a snack after or something. But yeah, we're just going to wander around, check out some of the little tourist shops and these little uh, places hey here with the bracelets and stuff and <laughs> friends <laughs> no, we're still here i want to get another bracelet so i might pick one of those up shane is looking at bracelets too and uh yeah we'll just carry on with the day The mermaid glass or whatever, isn't it? Similar? Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah. like that. So there's a little stand here by the football field, which is across here, and by the sign, they've got really cool bracelets. So little nice beaded bracelets. So Diaz Mill, 10,000 colones for the bigger ones. And then they have smaller ones, a little bit less expensive. Yeah. It's like similar to Very similar, yeah. The bigger. 
Yeah. It's bigger. I think so, yeah. Let me see. Yeah, you probably I'm gonna set you this. Hold yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you can hold it for a sec, then I'll put it on and see. Are they all the same size, these ones? Yeah? As soon as we can see. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe take take the flap off so that she oh, can this one, yeah. so that she can try it on your wrist, right? That's like more, it's more stretchy, right? <laughs> so yeah, she's gonna she just cut one apart or two or two apart, and then she's gonna put them together so make it longer. It's the nice thing is they can customize it for you right here. So we're standing here with the bracelets and the. The street meat guy just showed up. <laughs> Even they're like, oh, it smells really good. <laughs> Wait, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get one of those because it's been a while since we ate. It smells so good. <laughs> He's got the best street meat. Oh yeah, why don't? See? good one, I like that. I like it, yeah. It's very natural. Yeah. Steal it from another one. While you're doing that, I'm gonna go get a, a skewer. Yeah, I don't, I'm not hungry yet, No, so. no. Yeah, Shayna's still full from her breakfast. That's how big it is. It's what is it now? It's like it's quarter after three, and she's still full from that. But I'm gonna use a, a skewer. Hello, amigo. Pollo yeah. in? Do you have a uh, pollo? Okay. See, pollo is good. They, it does uh, beef as well. So we have some that are all pre-made. He just heats it up on this right there. Muchas gracias. All right, so yeah, I got a chicken skewer. It's 1,000 colones for a skewer with the tortilla. We've uh, actually had this guy in one of our other videos as well. The uh, street food and Samara video. I'll put the link up here for you right here so you can go to that if you're watching on a computer. If not, I'll be in the description below. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the skewer. So good. I could just sit here and eat like 20 of those things. They're so good. Yeah. I could, we should just have those for dinner. Just have like a bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 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 So yeah, we just got the bracelet and Shayna got a nice new necklace. Yeah, it's got some natural beads on it. Yeah. I, I really like it. Yeah, it was really well. I haven't seen anything like that. And it, it was cool that she made them to size right there for us. So 16,000 colones for a bracelet and a necklace, not too bad. So I think it's around $24. It'll show up below what, uh, what the actual conversion is. So naturally, when you're walking around a hot beach town in Costa Rica, you get really, really, really thirsty. Yeah, So I I'm think thirsty. we need to go and have a, a cerveza or a cocktail somewhere. Yeah, let's go up to Limey's here on the corner. It's, Much needed. Yeah, there's, there's the thing about Costa Rica and the beach towns, there's lots of little bars and stuff you can go in just for a quick drink. Or you can go to like a super like this and just buy a beer or whatever and walk around with it. But we want to sit down. We've been standing for a little bit now and uh, sit by a fan. All right, so we... Uh, Got a couple cold beverages. There's a, what is it though, a happy hour. So it was two cocktails for 4,500 plus tax and stuff. So Shana got the Cuba Libre, just got it as a toll. I just got a cold Imperial Silver. Always hits the spot, cold beer in a beach town. Mine's very strong. Is it, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shana's is strong. They knew it was me. Yeah, it's Shana poor. <laughs> she, they knew you've been walking around, so. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here for a bit. Got the fan going, so it's nice to cool down. It is clouding up a bit, which is also nice. It's not so uh, not so hot, but cheers. Hey. So we just received uh, a couple chili guaro shots from our friends. So this doesn't count in the hundred dollars because no, it was free. No, it was already paid for. <laughs> so they did this last time. Actually, yeah. we were up at uh, Coco's Mexican restaurant yeah. when we first met them, yeah. and 
I think we, we had already ordered ourselves and some friends around a chili guaro and yeah. then they saw that we like the traditional chili guaro shot. Yeah. So uh, they ordered us some there yeah. and now they found us at Limey's yeah. in town. And, <laughs> Every uh, time we see them the at same a bar, thing, we, so they buy us one and, or we buy we them We just hope one, to so. find them everywhere we go yeah. so we can just get chili guaro <laughs> yeah. everywhere. So thank you, you Deborah and Johnny. Yes, thank we you really guys. really appreciate it. Appreciate Salud. It. Salud. Por la vida. That's a good one. Good and spicy. Whoever made that's not allowed in the chili guaro competition because you'd win. They might beat me. Yeah. <laughs> I am the champion still, but yeah. I want to stay like that. Yeah, so. you actually get to. Compete I won't compete this year. against whoever made this. Yeah, <laughs> you're not. You're not invited. <laughs> nope. All right, so we just finished up at Limey's. We ended up sitting longer than expected because we ran into friends. That's the thing with us being in a beach town. In the town we live in, we end up running into friends. If you're traveling, you may end up meeting people at a hotel or something, and then you see them in town and you end up hanging out longer. So total bill there was 14,000 colones. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head back to Sea Casa, just chill for a little bit, and then we're gonna go out for dinner. All right, so we just went back to Sea Casa, freshened up a little bit, <laughs> I shaved a little bit. <laughs> it's about had time. a shower, yeah, it's about time, I know. Our clothes were a little bit wet yeah. from just kind of walking Walk around, around yeah. and just being like, I don't know, just, grungy beach people. Yeah, grungy beach people, beach bumps. sweating, walking in the streets. So yeah, we thought we'd freshen up. Before coming for dinner, so yeah, we're at Coco's Mexican Restaurant, which is right at the T in Samara. So if you guys are coming to Samara, it'd be easy to find for you. They have uh, tacos, burritos, chimichangas, fajitas, all sorts of stuff. Plus they do like more like American food, like burgers and stuff like that. This is one of our favorite places in town to just be able to sit and chill and hang out and just, you know, watch people walk by yeah. in town, watch all the crazy traffic, yeah. like <laughs> watch horses. people try to take the corner by Dr. Freddy's office and yeah. see if they make it. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if, if it's not one of those days where we want to sit at the beach all day yeah. or if the weather is not if it's raining permitting like it is that, right now, actually started like raining. this, yeah. it's like, we're not going to sit at the beach all day. We are going to sit at Coco's Mexican yeah. restaurant for exactly. sure. The variety on the menu is awesome. There's so much different stuff to yeah. choose from. And it's right in the heart of downtown. Town Samara so yeah. it's just one of those places that really honestly it doesn't matter what the weather is this is a really really yeah. really cool spot to just come and just hang out uh, whether you're just having a drink or you're gonna eat some stuff and we've spent hours yeah. here yeah exactly we've sat here out. all day long just because <laughs> yeah. it's like it's it's like a community place yeah. you know you it start seeing people it. walking by yeah and they come and sit and, or, yeah. or you guys there are viewers that walk by and say hey we watched your videos so yeah it's pretty cool and they got live music as well um, which they have tonight so I might film a little bit of that to show you guys so um, but yeah we have uh, 17,000 colones left Mm. I don't know if we can stick inside that. You, you thought Are we were going to be. Do it? You, Shana thought we we're going to be under that, but we'll see. Depends I mean, on how many of these I have. How many wines you have. How many vinos am I going to yeah, have? Exactly. Are we going to stay in the budget? <laughs> I don't know. It's in the evening now. So. Um, but yeah, I definitely uh, recommend coming to Coco's when you're here. Also, we did a video on Dos Gringos, which is their uh, brewery that is right next door, and you can get beers on tap, which you're seeing on the overlay right now of all the different taps they super have. Super so fresh. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, no more, preservatives, no, no super, crap. Super good. Good stuff. Yeah, it's clean, clean alcohol, clean beer. Clean Actually, drinking. Clean drinking. Is there such thing? <laughs> clean drinking? I guess if you're I feel in a like bathtub. There is. <laughs> uh, no. Tom was just saying that he's working on a seltzer right now, which is going to be out in a couple weeks as well. So yeah. I want to try that. Yeah, we're going to try that. So yeah, we're, uh, we're just going to hang out here. Uh, we're going to order our dinner and then we're going to let you guys know where we end up in the $100 challenge. Here comes our friend Tom, the owner of Coco's and Dos Gringos Beer. There you go. Bringing us some fresh beer to try. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank you, sir. We are so Thank excited you. to try these. What a treat. They all, they're all Thank lighter you. beers, so they look really good. So, um, yeah, this doesn't count on our $100. Um, this, this is a freebie from our friend <laughs> yeah. Tom that owns the restaurant. So. That's the thing about living in one of these towns. Uh, you end up having well, friends that own. he said he was going to bring them, and we're like, hey, you might as well try them yeah. and just let you guys know how, yeah. we, how we feel about them and exactly. what we'll the try tastes them. are yeah. and stuff. So, in your travels in Costa Rica or in any other country, you may end up meeting owners of restaurants or bars. You will. You will. Costa Rica is a very friendly Especially country. Rica, yeah. Everybody wants to make friends yeah. And, yeah. and chat and stuff, so you will. So you're going to make friends and they're going to have situations like this where they can just give you stuff for free, which doesn't count in your daily budget. So. I'm not, I'm not waiting for you. No, she's not waiting. We're gonna try the it. Ultra? That's the ultra, yeah. This is kind of. Uh, he so, said it was like a light beer, like almost like. I mean, you can't you can't compare like a, a no. good. A good craft beer craft to an imperial. Beer to but, a local just bottled beer, yeah, but so, this yeah. would be the most comparable, I guess. Yeah. He said. Ultra. So like a light, right? Yeah. So it's a medium. 
Yeah. It looks light. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys. It's light, not hoppy. As you can see, it's lighter. Yeah, that's good. That's refreshing. I like that one actually, yeah. yeah. And I am very picky about my beers, as you guys know, because yeah. I'm a wine girl. Yeah, exactly. Um, but this is the lovely strawberries and cream. Yeah. Or what they call in Costa Rica the uh, fresa y leche. Sí. Or fresa con leche, but it's more fresa y leche. Yeah. So, from what I remember, when I had it a couple years ago. Yeah, this was the first it. beer we had when they started brewing. It was just this like amazing, creamy, fruity, strawberry Light. beer. But I haven't had it since, so it's going to be interesting to see how this is now. Yeah. After a little while, if it's still the same or if they changed yeah. it. It's been about three years. Because we always get other beers. It's good. Yeah. I would say that's even better. Yeah. That better is better. Before. It was good before, but that's even better. Yeah, I'm going to show you the color of it here. Yeah. I really like that. So Not can... only does it taste good, it's pretty. Yeah, yeah, it's got a nice And us ladies know <laughs> how important a pretty drink is. It's a rosé beer. <laughs> he shouldn't be drinking it. I should be drinking no, it. It's a lady a drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it still is good. It, no, it's actually better than before. Uh, we did the video of the brewery and, and Tom was saying that he was actually upstairs when we were filming and he came down and he's like that's that was his mission to like create a really good beer in Costa Rica that everyone would love. And yeah, it's quality, right? Yeah. So. And him and Warren have done a really good job at this, so yeah. yeah, it's amazing. So thank you Tom again for uh, giving us this flight to try and uh, <laughs> again you guys are in Samara, come to Coco's and try the Dos Gringos Brewing beer. All right, so our food has arrived. Shana has gotten the half an avocado, which is stuffed with shrimp. It looks really good. It's really like, fresh. yeah, it's fresh. It's almost like a shrimp ceviche. Yeah, shrimp in ceviche. An avocado. Yeah, shrimp ceviche in an avocado. Some corn. Some corn. Some tortilla chips. So Onion. there's like half of the avocado stuffed with shrimp, as you're seeing right now, and then the other mm -hmm. part of the with the chips has more shrimp on it. I've got some lime and some all lime. Sorts yeah, of stuff. very ceviche esque. Yeah. And then I just got the um, the Baja fish tacos. I opted for the hard shell tacos. I prefer a hard shell taco. I know most fish tacos come with a soft shell, but I just like the hard shell. It's just that have that texture, that crunch. So I'm gonna bite into this and see how it is. You gotta slide your salsa over so it doesn't fall over. Yeah, it's nice to have that crunch of the, the hard shell. Really good, really good taco, for sure. And the fish, not too fishy. So yeah, Shayna is really enjoying hers. The uh, the fresh shrimp, the ceviche, and the chips, and the avocado, super fresh. Yeah, you can't go wrong with uh, coming here for some good tacos and good ceviche with avocado. A grilled fish, super light, nice, nice texture. Really good. Um, live music starting right now, so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of that. En la vida conocí mujer igual a la blanca, con el negro de la Habana, tremendísima mulata, sin libras de piel y hueso, 40 kilos de salsa, y en la cara dos soles. Que sin palabras hablan, que sin palabras hablan. La flaca duerme de día, sé que hace el hambre engaña. Cuando viene la noche, se llega para Samara a bailar y bailar y tomar y tomar una cerveza tras otra. Pero ella nunca engorda Pero ella nunca engorda Por un beso de la flaca Haría lo que fuera Por un beso de ella Aunque solo uno fuera Por un beso de la flaca Yo daría lo que fuera Por un beso
Also, when you're uh, out for dinner and there is a musician, don't forget to tip them. Where's your, where's your tip jar? Here, right here. here. <laughs> Thank you, man. How are you? Good, man. Good. Good. good to see you, man. You guys see him around Samara, it's good music. See? Always. Always good music. Yes. Dif Differente. This uh, mixed though. Our music. Yeah, different music. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for Awesome. Thanks. You're very good. Hey, man. That's good. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, definitely. Uh, when you're out and there's a musician around, don't forget to tip them. That's how they make their money. All right. So it's been a few days since we filmed this video. Uh, I didn't get a chance to do the outro, so I'm doing it now. Uh, we got sick the next day. There's been a cold going around. There's been a few going around, but uh, so we got sick again and. Uh, yeah, we weren't really up to filming the next day to let you guys know where we stacked up in the $100 challenge. So for the dinner, we ended up, uh, the, the bill was 21,000 colones, and then we left a tip for the server as well as the musician. So total bill was 25,000 colones. You're seeing how much it is here. And uh, so yeah, where does that leave us in the $100 challenge? Well, we ended up going over. We spent $111.39, but I mean, there's ways that we could have got, stayed under by not buying jewelry, by not stopping for drinks. And uh, yeah, if you are coming to a beach town in Costa Rica and you plan on eating out, you can easily spend over $100 by doing so. But that's the nice thing is there's a lot of places like Sea Casa where there's kitchens so you can just go buy groceries, you can buy drinks. Just hang out there, make your own food and not spend quite as much as going out to the restaurants, especially every day. That can add up really quick. So, um, but yeah, if you guys are looking to stay with us at Sea Casa, just go to seacasasamara.com and it has all the information there, all the links to book through Airbnb and VRBO. So yeah, it was a fun little challenge. Um, yeah, Shayna at the beginning, as you saw, thought maybe we'd stay under. I figured we'd be like right on 100, but we're $11, just over $11 over. So not too bad. Um, yeah, it was a fun, fun video to make. Hope you guys liked this one. Thanks for watching all the way through. If you did like it, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come out new videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Sé que te marchaste sin saber, sin aceptar, sin comprender. Ni nada envenenada aquí en mi pecho. Mal ya está hecho. Sé que no merezco tu perdón. Que lastimé tu corazón, que me arrepiento, fui el